This is how I tie my FJ. It's not the right way, it's just my way. And I think the most important thing is to, to get a knot that you feel comfortable with and you can tie good and it's easy for you to do. And then if you find that, that's the way to do it. Can you even see that? How's my high tech camera stand? Wheel boxes. One thing I always do before I tie my knot, I go through and I strip off existing line to check for any damaged line, scuffed line I've seen before and it's happened to me before where I haven't checked it and I've lost fish and I've seen it happen to a few people, not mentioning any names, John Cahill. Um, so it always pays to go through, check all your line for any scuffing and if it is, just chop it off. You might lose a bit, but it's better than losing a fish. I'm using WFT, 39 kilo. This leader is Varavas, 80 pound. It's pretty thin for it to break its strength. First thing I do is put the braid in my teeth and hold it with tension. You can see I've went my rod up like that with a tight drag so I can apply tension and keep the knot tight. I chuck my leader over there, wrap it around forwards once, keep it tight, backwards, under, forwards, under. I think Homer's here. Is that you, Homer? Yeah. Do you want to learn how to tie an FJ knot? Can you feel me now? Yeah. So that Start was forwards, under, backwards, under, like, I don't know how many times, seven or eight times each way. One thing I learned from someone is not to do it too many times. It makes you not too long and can affect your guides and stuff and will probably make you cast less further. Shorter. Shorter, shorter cast. <laughs> so at this stage, that's what it looks like. It's not the neatest thing in the world. Can you see that? I don't go crazy tightening it at this stage. Pinch it like that. I reckon they can see that. Yeah. Pretty good timing is to walk through the game. That was pretty good, I. Yeah. yeah it's Big setup. Not even a setup I keep it down like that, pinch the end of my knot. And this is an FG with a risotto finish. That big risotto. Big risotto. Briggsy actually taught me this, but um, I think he learnt from watching. Lay from MB Custom Lures YouTube video. So we have the tag down. We go over both lines. I'm a little bit shaky, too many coffees. Do you, can I ask a question about the FG? Yeah. What sort of lines do you do it with? Like, how smaller lines would you bother doing? I do FGs on everything now. Yeah. Even so on bass gear. Yeah. All right. Everything. So this, you want to wrap five times, I think. I wrap five times, you might wrap more. <laughs> so, at that stage, it'll look like that. This is where it gets a little bit tricky and you get a bit shaky. And you're on the lattes. This loop here, you have to wind in next to the knot <laughs> and unravel all these little bits. It sounds really weird, but, um, what? yeah, it's really, it doesn't really make sense to do it, but. Once you've unwrapped all these and you've wrapped back this way, you can just pull the tag through and it tightens up the knot. No half hitch whatsoever. So I'll have a go. Mm -hmm. One, one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Three, four, four, five, six. And that's unraveled now. All those first loops are unraveled. Then I just spit on it, lube her up a bit. And then the braid tag in the mouth and pull it through. Should look like that. What happens now? Have you got a lighter? Oh, you can't. Yeah, I might need it. Some dudes have, it's they use line, line pullers and stuff. My theory is I let the fish pull it tight. But, I don't know, you can do whatever you want. Again, this is just the way I do it. It's not the right way or the wrong way. It's just the way I like to do it. So that's pretty much it. Now I just trim it up and I always burn the end of the leader. That makes a nice little nub and stops it from sliding over. That's my FG. I'll cut it and I'll show you. So that's it trimmed up. Yeah, Now I just need to burn the end of this leader, spit on it heaps so I don't burn or affect the knot or the main line. It's 
just dribbling himself up. <laughs> and then just right, press it down like that. Is Joey going here? I don't know, I haven't spoken to him. Yeah. I'm trying to film, man, Desmond. So that's it with the little knob on the end. That just stops the knot from slipping over the end of the leader. Time that took me about five minutes. I'm probably pretty slow. But Hamo hey, just had a good point that taking five minutes now will probably save you a shitload of time later. Once again, it is not the only way to tie it. This is just how I tie it. Don't blow up at me in messages saying that it looks like shit. Tie it a different way. I tie it like this. You might tie it a different way. If you do, put a video up and show us. You.